here's a quick video on how to use American ECU on Australian Noom. Okay, so this is a stolen recovered bike that we bought off the auctions and um, pretty much it was missing a uh, cluster, ignition barrel, pretty much everything. We had no keys, no nothing. So we bought an ignition barrel, we used the old ECU, which we've got the American ECU in there now, and we we couldn't get the bike to prime, so we put the US ECU because it's non hiss. So we put the key in, put it in. Fuel pump doesn't prime. So to get this to work, what the American ECU needs is another source of power. And this is how I'm going to show you guys how to sort this out. Okay, just to show you guys, the only difference between the Australian or European or the UK loom and the American loom is that it has one extra power source. What you guys would have seen on other videos is they were telling you to add another 12 volt source to power up the ECU to get the bike running. That could work on other Hondas, but on the 600RR, a 304, it does. It needs 9 volt, not 12 volt. So what you need to do is, on pin 28, which is, let me just get that in focus, is pin 28, fourth one, on, from the bottom right. You need to add a pin. So you need to find a spare loom, cut it out and add it on there. Okay, what I've done here is I've cut the rear brake switch because this is the track bike, we don't need the brake light. So what I've done is I found the positive in the brake light. I've put a 3.9 Zener and then I've got a spare pin to add to the loom as the second power source for the ECU. So now, what this is doing is 12 volt will be pumping into there. This is the 3.9 Zener, which will cut the volts down to nine volt to power up the ECU. If any more volts is going into the ECU, the fuel pump won't prime. I think this is a security system that what the US ECUs have in the ignition barrel when they turn their key it sends 9 volt signals into the ECU which will power up the um, bike preventing it from being stolen if someone wants to short it without the ignition barrel um, unlike us we've got the HIS system so if you're going to try to connect 12 volt direct it won't power up ok so I've got the US loom connected back Onto, so the Aussie, the Aussie loom connected to the US ECU I've connected that wire with the 3.9 Zener to the brake switch and now we're going to test if the pipe primes so what we can do is take the ignition flip the switch voila the box officially going to start now. Every single time we're supplying the power to the to the petrol tank. 